All right, Aranda Gadsden is going to join us here. And before we talk some football, I did mention there is a big game on Saturday, Canes and FSU. If you're looking for the best Canes gear, check out Caneswear in Davie or caneswear.com online. Aranda's on the Toyota of Hollywood Hotline. I said to you, Crowder, at the end of the last segment, he was a Dolphins receiver for many years. I would imagine that yesterday's game probably annoyed him maybe more than someone who wasn't a receiver in the NFL for many years. Um, Aranda Gadsden is joining us now. Is, is there any way, OG, as a receiver, is there any scenario where a healthy Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle play the entire game? They're both, you know, healthy and not missing plays, and they both end up with a combined two catches for less than 20 yards? How, I, like, is that possible? If Dave Wanstead was the coach, we had Ricky Williams in the backfield and uh, Jay Fiedler was the quarterback. It, it could happen. I mean, On a Monday night game, too, Ricky had like 43 carries. And <laughs> Rob Conrad led the team in receiving. But anyway, <laughs> back to yesterday. Nah. I mean, that, that shouldn't happen. Not, not, <laughs> not, 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 not the guy we just voted, not we. I, I guess we, the NFL, just voted the number one player in the league. Shouldn't have one catch. I mean, this has been happening the last three weeks. I mean, I think in the last three weeks, he's had a total of four catches. Like, you know what? And to go back to the point where you just had the had the uh, promo. Um, you know, they they didn't build that guitar because we win. Because Sabrina <laughs> and Nephew killed me yesterday. Killed me, Sabrina. Come on, help me. I'll get more than 15 points. Which, <laughs> 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 I mean, I had a good parlay going to Commanders, Philly. I had Seattle. I had the Liberty, the Dodgers. I even had Tyree Hill to go over .5 yards rushing. I, hit I had that. I all had that. She, all she, all she had to do was get fifteen points, and she won for eight and threes. Come, come on, lady. <laughs> anyway, that was all part of one parlay. You had that all in a parlay. Yeah, yeah, all in one parlay. Yeah. Whew. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars would have got me one point seven million, and she, she didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, you know, listen. I've said this. I'm not. I'm upset, but I'm not upset as I would be because I've told y'all this since the beginning of time, three years ago when we were in Twin Peaks. The guy does not have a plan B or plan C. He just has a plan A. These are the same plays he's been calling since two was in. Now, he hasn't changed not one play, not one play, not one play. I mean, it's it's crazy. Like. It, it, you know, when, when two was up for the money and I, I even said, yeah, I think we should give two of the money because nobody else is going to run it. He hasn't like, you see when he throw to John New Smith, Tyreek and Waddle is wide open behind him. They're behind, they're behind him wide open. The glance is wide open. The post four step is wide open, but Tyler Huntley's going to throw to John New Smith because that's what he knows. That's what he feels comfortable with. If you go back, you, you would think, if I get Tyler Huntley, I'm going to go and pay attention to whatever he did in Baltimore and call those plays. Nope. I'm calling the same plays as if two was in there, and I want him to run it. No, man, no. But he only has plan A. He has no plan B. We haven't switched anything. It's the same thing. Like, it's, you know, it's frustrating to see. And that's why Tyreek Hill and Waddle, of course, you, you're a receiver. We need to ball we need to be involved of course i'm not gonna look for the ball if it's the third quarter and it's the first deep ball i'm getting i i was just running sprints that's all i was doing I'm just staying healthy getting my heart rate up and now you throw it to me oh i'm so, no man it just we we not wired like that we need to be involved in the game oh uh, we gonna start throwing our helmet start looking crazy our mama's gonna be on the internet tomorrow that just not work, man. That just not work yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OG, you 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 make it sound a little more more funny than our frustration. <laughs> Let's keep going. What about on that fourth down in the fourth quarter when he threw the ball out of bounds? Could, could, I'm thinking about a snag seven. I'm thinking about a bump route, double crossers. This is in my mind, OG. 
they're going to get some guys to the sticks. This dude throws a back shoulder. What, that, what were they, they were three yards away, maybe, from a first down? It was. It, it's crazy to throw the ball that deep and not run anything at the, the sticks. There's a the, lot of concepts. The, Told you, there's a lot of concepts. The, I don't even one, know it. I you know it, that you can get three yards. The, the, the snag will always be my route. Man, that's the best route in the world to me. <laughs> like I'm putting the defense in all kinds of conflicts, especially like the snag guy is a football player. I'm, I'm winning that. I'm winning that on a buzz linebacker all the time. But anyway, I mean, I mean, the whole last minute and 20 seconds was terrible. Like, we could do better than that in high school, bro. Like, clock the ball. Like, do something. Like, you gonna run a hurry up with Boyle? Come on, bro. Like, I mean, they just kept on running plays. Like, come on, man. Like, spike the ball. Like, do something. Like, you spike the ball on third down. Now you know it's only one down for, for that, that young fella to get that. Come on, man. He's not running. Like, the, I, I don't know. I, I just think, once again, and you see him holding that sheet, and they show him all the time. Nothing else on that sheet, bro. Nothing's going to just jump out at you on that sheet because you, you you haven't changed it. Like, you would think if Tim Boyle should have some plays that he he knows how to do. When Tim Boyle in the game, I'm putting I'm putting 11 people at the, at the line. Like, especially after we know what he did in college. I'm not even covering the receivers. I'm putting right, 11 people on right. the line of blitz. He's never going like, to them. Just, them. He's never gonna get that to them. He's never going to get there. get it. Like, I mean, it's just ridiculous because he just hasn't changed it. Like, you would think. Like, you, if you run Waddle and, and Tyreek on two crossing routes, somebody got to rub somebody. And if they catch it on the other side, somebody going to run for 137 yards. Nope, nope. We run the same plays like if, if Tua was in there. Same plays. That's why they're frustrated, bro. That's, it, that's it why does, you can does, tell. Like, does he have a chance, Mike McDaniel, of losing the offensive players? They they've all the players seem to love Mike McDaniel, but you you did see you know at the end of the uh, when the second half was starting after the first half was over and you know Jalen Waddle and Tyreek were sitting on a bench together and we know it was all laughs when I Mike McDaniel this. walked I, over. But they, there's no way that they were goofing before he got there. They just kind of changed their uh, their demeanor to uh, demeanor, right? Yeah, but like, does he have a chance of losing the offensive players with like, hey, what what are you doing, coach? Um, I like <laughs> hate to hate, hate to beat this dead horse, but you have to do something different, especially when two is not in. Now, the saving grace, we hope that two will come back and relive the tour from last year. Uh, just like the Jets hoping, you know, Aaron Rodgers is the Aaron Rodgers from, you know, 2019. Oh, like, you not. know what I mean? I, I, yeah, I, I don't know how that's going to work, but that's the saving grace because the plays will now work. Like Tyreek will now get five catches. 127 yards. Waddle will get his three for 89 and a touchdown, and we'll be doing the penguin again. Like, <laughs> I, I hope that's the way it is, but you know, it, it's tough. It's tough because I think, you know, the book is out, and that's and that's why I was so adamant about the change. You have to do something different. I'm happy to see Johnu getting the ball because we never use the tight end, so that helps. I mean, you you can look back through the three years he's been here and what's the what's the tight end stats like the leading tight end in the last since Mike McDaniel been here got like I mean we had Mike Gusecki yeah like 20 catches like it should be more than that when you got these two dynamic receivers but he's gonna call the same thing like I think if if Tua was away longer to week 12 I, I think that he was in jeopardy of losing Everyone, be quite honest. But I think the book is out, and that's the problem. I, I use the analogy. You remember when 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 um, uh, Cam Newton was doing the Superman, and he was like, "Yo, if you don't like it, stop it." And what happened the next year? They they stopped it. And we hadn't had we hadn't heard from Cam Newton since. They stopped it. Yeah. Let him let him pull the ball, and we just keep hitting Cam. Don't worry about who got the ball. Hit Cam. If he won't run the zone read, hit him. Hit him. And they know now, you could tell in the first two games, the Jacksonville and Buffalo, they're not really going for the interceptions. They're not really going for, you know, re they're just trying to intersect, just trying to disrupt the timing. Like, we're going to run into the guy. When Tyreek hit his four-step, when Tua hit his 
third back step. We just gonna run into people. They just running into people. They're not sticking them. If they right, they right. If he holds it for an extra second longer, then they wide open for a touchdown. But the book is out, like because he's not gonna change. He's not changing it. The, the routes haven't changed. They, they just haven't, and that's. I think that's the frustrating part. You know, when you go into a game plan, you know, you know, you have some new wrinkles, and you, as a receiver, you know, as the whole offense, you're like, man, we practiced this all week and we didn't run it, and you get frustrated. I, I don't think they had those plays. I don't think they got some new plays that Tyreek and Waddle have not done. Like, oh, we practiced this all week and didn't run it. That I don't think they have that. They got what we what we always been running. They got OG and something else to a, to at his press conference today. And I won't lead the witness on this. I just want you to answer the question. He said he will not wear the guardian helmet, the little extra pad on the helmet that people that have, you know, that have, have concussion histories, wear that little extra right. pad. What, right. what, why do players make the decision not to wear that pad? Cause it looks like you're on a short bus, <laughs> you know, they don't want to look like they're on a short bus. That's, that's the only reason why I see the guy from the guy from Buffalo, the safety he wear because he know he gonna bang people out. Like I'm a bang people out. Like if you see a safety or a linebacker wear that helmet, no, you getting banged out because they they don't care. They I'm running into you. That's that's a pre warning. Like I'm helmet. gonna run slap <laughs> into you. I don't care. Warning helmet. <laughs> right, that's a warning helmet. And when he comes to you, you, you know, it's going to shoot flares because I'm about to bust your face. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care about my well-being. Like, I'm just going to run into you. That's me. funny. If you see Who a defensive you player you? wearing the Guardian cap, that's a oh, yeah. warning that you're going to get stuck. Yeah. yeah. That little rap right, you will get rocked. Heads off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, 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 uh, what I tell y'all, if, if, what I tell y'all. Oh, I mean, because Arande said it? Stop it. I mean, listen, if you, if you don't wear the Guardian cap, you could actually end up on that bus. So how about you wear the cap? <laughs> it's all about the look. <laughs> it's all about the look. You know you don't want to look like that, but you should wear it. Tua, Tua should wear it with a <laughs> – Tua should wear it, two of them. He should right. wear two of them. Like one on two put, a, of the put, a, yeah. put a my pillow on your head, too. Right. He, he should have one of those helmets – a airbag and another helmet, just in case, just in case. But I, you know, it's 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 unfortunate that we in this situation. And I you think the, play the, in the, a car seat wearing a seatbelt <laughs> that has an airbag attached to it, just in case there's a collision. <laughs> just in case this is collision, oh and we should not go for it on fourth and seven when two is that quarterback. That's what we should do. We should kick it. We should play kick the field it. Position. You know, listen, <laughs> flip the field. I, I, Flip the field. Just flip the field. That's your fault. That's your fault, Mister Wonder Boy. That's your fault. Go back. Go back to the old hair. Go back to your old hair, dude. The one you had when you first got off the plane. Go back to that one, not this one. <laughs> yeah, you got a little too cutesy with the hair, McDaniel. Yeah, let's, you got a little let's, too cutesy. Let's go you know back to where saying? we came from when we were putting yeah, seventy points yeah. up in the game, not in the yeah. season. Yeah. So, so the, 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 like we had seventy points in one game. Last year, we hadn't had 70 points in seven games this year. Like, oh, it's a macro. He used to have the like, vice, you know, principal, just... vice principal head, dude. Now he has the club owner. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Right. He got the club owner. He, he, he done got the money and bought him a little lounge down, down the street. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot he what got him here. He yeah. forgot what got yeah, him here. He, Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he don't want to be the vice principal no more. He just want to own the lounge, open it up at five. I got the liquor license. I can stay open past 1130. Yeah, man. <laughs> Like he uh, gotta go. Like we, we gotta we, go around there. We, 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 we fell for the joggers, man. We were good with just the joggers. We were. Was we now really were. Went <laughs> we were. Like, yeah, you went too far, man. Now you got the glasses, the hair, like the watch. Come on, man. The joggers was enough. We now, now everything. Joggers off whites, whites, and then give us the vice yeah. principal hair. We're good to go. Now yeah, you got all now the you got the hookah you... flavors. We don't yeah, need no hookah. Now... <laughs> now he got the cleats on. He taping his fingers up. Like he about to get in the game. Like, come on, bro. You're going too far. Oh, see you, Ronde. We'll talk to you next week. All right, man. Y'all take it easy, bro.